Hey AP Stats, it's Mr. Lineski here today talking about the difference between a Type 1 and a Type 2 error. Um, before we get started, I want to remind you that a Type 1 um, and Type 2 error, they aren't things that you do wrong. Um, it's something that the data does wrong. So it is okay to say that we got a Type 1 error or that we got a Type 2 error. Um, it's just something that the data kind of messes us up a little bit. Um, so it's not something that, you know, you're doing wrong. Um, so if I have a null and an alternative here, the null being you are not pregnant, and then the alternative would be that you are pregnant. I found this uh, photo online that I feel like kind of sums up type 1 and type 2 errors nicely. So here it is. Um, a type 1 error is when we know that the null is true. So we're claiming that this is true. You are not pregnant. And I know earlier I mentioned we don't really want to use true false too often, but here I will. Um, we know this is true. You are not pregnant. And if I look at this guy, this guy's not pregnant. He's a guy. He's not going to be pregnant. But now we have this doctor telling him, you're pregnant. So this doctor is taking a true null, and he is rejecting a true null. So that is a type 1 error, when we know the null is true and we reject the true null. Um, a type 2 error comes into play whenever we say that the null is false. So you are not pregnant. Well, if we look at this lady here, she's rocking a killer baby bump. We know that she's probably pregnant, most likely. She probably is. Look how she's holding the thing. She's pregnant. Um, so this is a false null. But if we look at the doctor, the doctor is failing to reject that false null. She's telling the lady, you're not pregnant. Um, so that is a type 2 error. So hopefully this uh, figure and this little explanation helped you figure out the difference between type 1 and type 2 errors. Thank you for watching.